Hi, and welcome to Papa Bear's Peppers, and I'm Harold. And today, I want to show you the difference between the Amazon grow bags and the Bootstrap Farmer grow bags. And show you a couple of things just so you're aware of what you're getting into when you do buy them. So stay with me, and let's get started. There, I started going to the grow bags, and I seen them on Amazon, and they were a really good price, okay? So... I'm going to show you a couple comparisons side by side and also I have a digital caliper so we can see the difference in the diameters. Upon comparison when you look at them they look fairly similar. The only difference here is that this is a three gallon and this is a five gallon. But that's not what I really want to show you. Now if you'll notice in here you'll see that this has a backer plate where the handle is. And you'll notice on the bootstrap farmer, there is no backer in there because it doesn't need it. It's a better material. You may tell yourself there's no big difference between the two, but in fact, there really is. And I've been finding out. And recently, I went to bootstrap farmer and I bought two 10 bag bundles of the five gallon fabric pots because I do want to go to the fabric pots because they do promote the air pruning of the roots and they allow the soil to breathe a little bit. Difference is, is that one of them, the cheaper Amazon bag, the fabric wool is, is going to allow too much of the moisture to, to leave and thus creating your soil to dry out a little quicker than you really want to. What we're gonna start out with is a basic measurement. Is now this, fabric out here is the same thickness as the backer strip in here. So what I want to do is I want you to see this. First of all, let me make sure I'm zeroed. As you can see there, I'm zeroed. And what I'm going to do is open up the caliper and come down on the material just like this. Now you see we're at 1.3. Okay. I'm going to do it again zero just so we know that it's not given funny numbers different numbers 1.1 we'll say average 1.2 okay and now i'm going to measure a bootstrap farmer bag okay so there we are again we're at zero just so you see now i'm going to come down onto it one point eight so it's already a thickness diameter difference let's do another one one point eight so i got one point eight you already have a thicker material now this is an actual felt which is going to hold that down it's also made with a bpa safe uh, food safe nylon thread so nothing on here is contaminant it's not going to cause any kind of very organic it's not going to cause any kind of pollutants in your water and as you guys know i do a lot of my stuff organically now the other thing to notice the seven gallon bags from bootstrap farmer are the same thickness as the five gallon bags I'm going to zero out again, as you see right there, come down, 1.8. So you see these seven gallon bags are the same diameter. Look at the way, the, and look at the moisture lost in here. So that's weeping through the bag. It's got a little bit more moisture. And this one was watered this morning as well. So you do have water loss and evaporation through the sides because it's just not as thick on the sides okay and as you can see even without the backing on these things they're very sturdy they can they can really hold up well so there's some examples of the difference in these bags now here's a little side by side comparison these are two reaper plants that have been in the soil really the same amount of time same soil and everything Look at the size of this plant. These were the same size. They came out at the same everything. 
Look at the size of this one. And granted, it is a seven gallon, but nevertheless, this one's gotten a lot bigger faster than the other one. So you see there is a difference in the way they're growing. Inside the bootstrap armor bag is looking a lot more healthy, a lot more vigorous. Now, that's not to say that the one in the container isn't doing well, but it's been established and I haven't moved it around. However, this is now starting to catch up and really looking a lot healthier since I moved it over. Again, you see one in here in the thinner bags and the growth has been uh, minimal. Whereas again, you look at these and they're just exploding over here and the bootstrap farmer bags are just really taking off. So as you can tell, there's a lot of growth going on. It's really explosive growth. The thicker bags tend to lend to stronger, healthier plants because the soil temperatures are more stable. So they tend to grow a little bit stronger and a little bit healthier. I got 10 of the five gallon bags for $29.95 free shipping from Bootstrap Farmer. Thicker material, five gallon bags. These are three gallon. I paid $20, $19.95 through Amazon, and I got 12 bags. That's hard to find that deal. Every now and again, you come across them. But these, a lot more durable, a lot better constructed, these bootstrap farmer bags and I'll tell you what as you guys have seen I have the bootstrap farmer seed starting cells so I've really become a fan of it but just so you know everything that I have these bags these bags I buy with my own money so this is my own recommendation it's not a kickback from anybody it's my personal preference and what I've noticed you can feel a difference in these bags you really can they're thicker better constructed now these are not bad i'm telling you and if you you really want them then great but i will say that i've had to water more with these thinner bags than i do with the bootstrap bar farmer bags they hold the moisture a little bit better they still allow the plants to breathe in the soil and get that that needed transfer of oxygen and and everything else without letting all the moisture wick out so this is really going to be my bag of choice and I've switched over to them. A $10 difference for a better constructed bag that's really, my plants seem to be a little happier in them. Hopefully this helps you with making a decision on the type of grow bags that you would like. Remember these Bootstrap Farmer, they have them in every size you can think of. They're huge bags down to these five gallons. And right now that's the smallest that Bootstrap Farmer makes is a five gallon. You go from there, then you start getting into it. You go to their site. I'm gonna have it down there linked in the description. You go to the Bootstrap Farmer site and I'll tell you what, they can carry cover any of your growing needs for pots, for greenhouses, for all kinds of stuff over there. Now, granted I have my greenhouses, but I like to go there for these nice, sturdy, grow bags that they have for my own personal use. So I just wanted to inform you and tell you what I think between the two. And I really, the, the durability and the cost is not that much different between getting 10 of these five gallon bootstrap farmer bags. Really good people, they'll answer it. If you have questions, I've emailed back and forth. This is a 0 .350 thickness compared to this one, which is just a mere 0.30 thickness. And you've seen the measurements on there. We had roughly right at that, these are a much better constructed bag. Hopefully this helps you in your decision on which grow bag that you want. Personally for me, it's the Bootstrap Farmer bag. Thanks for watching. Remember, hit that button down there. Subscribe to my channel. All right, well, this is Harold with Papa Bear's Have a great day and keep growing.